the Bag Boy Skull Edition. Look at that. Skull Edition CR15. And you know what I like about this? You see the skulls? It's like a nylon. It's not your traditional. It's like a, it looks like it's almost, uh, what do you call, rainproof. Because it's very uh, nylonic. Nylonic. Maybe that's a new word. It's nylonic. Um, what I like about this bag is you're going to get these old timers, these purists out there and be like, look at this guy. He doesn't respect the game. Like the people at, uh, Augusta, you're damn right. I don't respect the game. You know why I don't respect the game? When I can see an unathletic motherfucker that can beat me in a game that pisses me off. So yeah, I'm going to come to your golf course looking like this. And I got to tell you, this is, I, I like bag boy. I've always bought bag boy. My last bag boy was a revolver and I loved that thing, but my, uh, grips would not fit in the top. So I had to get rid of it. That's why I bought this. And this is identical, actually, to the revolver I had, but a better-looking bag. And uh, the only thing I liked about the revolver better is this. This thing here, the revolver had a little hole where you can grip it in. This is for the, the cart thing, but I'm going to show you why that's not a matter because it's got, it got the handles up here. But let me take it down so you can get a better view at it. I just brought it up there for uh, significance purposes. Try to get some sunlight here. Because, you know, when I looked at reviews on this, you can't find a review on this. You can't even hardly find pictures of it. But it does come with the head cover. Uh, the head cover, it doesn't say it comes with one. I looked everywhere, but I was opening the bag up, and I opened up this pocket here, and there was a head cover in there, so wrapped up, and boom. I will say this. It's a thin head cover, very thin. The original head cover that I got from uh, my old Bag Boy Revolver is much thicker, and it fits on this thing because I had it on here before I found this in the pocket, and I'm probably going to end up by using this one, although this one is made for it, and it fits perfect on the buttons, but I do like this one better, so whatever. It does come with the head cover. Uh, shockingly, I didn't know it even had a cooler in it. it had, it's hard to do this with fucking one hand, but it has a cooler. My old bag boy had a cooler too. It was actually a detachable one. It was nice, but it comes with a cooler about the same size as the old bag boy, which is nice. And I do use a cooler on the golf course. Not that I drink, but you know, whatever. It's got a plethora of pockets here. Nice deep well pocket here. It's got pocket goes around here. It's got a pocket all the way down here. And it's got one right here. On both, both sides are identical. Uh, it didn't come with this. This is off my old bag boy, this thing here. So uh, it fell off because whatever. I'll put it back on later. But didn't come with that, but it did come with um, a handle. That, well, I'll show you. Let me take the cover off it. I'll show you the inside. Like I said, this is a very thin, uh, this is a very thin, almost like a rain, a pull, almost like a cheap rain jacket. Uh, it'll work though. It'll work, but I'm putting the other one on. All right, let's get to the uh, inside of the bag. The reason I got rid of my old bag, boy, because I put bigger grips on my clubs and they won't fit down in there. So it's got like, what, one, two, three, four. It's got like 18 spots where you can store your clubs. I got them all back there. Putter, uh, well, it's got these handles here that you can pick it up with. Um, where's the thing that I wanted to show you? It's under there. It does come with something. You can hang stuff there. Like I say, it's got a ton of pockets. The uh, rare of it, just a beautiful thing. Look at the, look at the beautiful, look at get out of the sun. Look at that. CR15. It's a beautiful, hey, it's a beautiful bag. And it's very lightweight. It's actually a little bit lighter than my revolver. I'd say the thing weighs about five pounds. Very lightweight. And like I say, the can, the, the material is like a, a nylonic. It's just, it's very nice. Like rainproof. And I like the looks of this. They had an American flag one. Uh, similar to this, but I just like the dark look better. So, there you got it. Couldn't find a review on, um, like I say, anywhere. You can see pictures, that's about it. I like this bag a lot. Very lightweight, and uh, like I said, I, I only carry a uh, four through uh, pitching wedge. I don't even carry my gap wedge because I don't use it. Maybe I'll start using it. Uh, look, I got the gap wedge. Yeah, I'm not that good of a golfer, so I use Cobra, LD, whatever, LTD one length. But I put these grips on it, and they, they wouldn't fit in all my bag boy, my old bag boy. But they fit in this one perfect. So, actually, um, I'm going to show you something. I use a, uh, a big, what do you call, I use a extra large grip on this club here, and it fits in there. It fits in all these. you got to jam it down in there to get it used. So the, this is an extra large Jumbo Max. But I don't like Jumbo Max anymore. They're good grips. I, just, I actually like these better. These grips here are way better. These Golf Pride uh, CP2s, way better. But, yeah. Look at that. I love these handles here. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is a good bag. Good looking bag too. Like I said, if there's anything I would like to change on this bag, it would be this. I wish you could still pick it up from here underneath. And it was a very rugged leather thing. This is nylonic here. 
That's a new word too, by the way. And the other one had a little thing where you put your T's at, which is no big deal. I'm sure I can devise something there if I really wanted to. I'm not really worried about that. But like I say, the coolers there, you got this pocket here where I got all my T's at now. We're at right here. Look at that, it goes all the way down in there. Like I say, it's got a ton of storage. I got balls on that side. A few things here. I don't really carry that much stuff, but like I said, you'll never run out of storage. And there you have it, folks. The Bag Boy CR15 golf bag. What a beast. And yeah, the old timers, the purists are going to, look at the skulls on it. He don't respect the game. You know? <sighs> no, I don't respect the game. Because you could probably beat me at golf. And I don't like that. Paige Sparanak could beat me at golf. You know, I wouldn't mind that.